Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why FNM attendance is so down, and it is very down in my local game store. I made a video saying that it went from 120 pre-release to zero. I went from you know a FNM of 80 plus people every FNM to like zero, and my general consensus is there are other forms of entertainment. A lot of my friends who used to play Magic, they no longer play Magic. They play Pokemon Go. They decided to spend all their money that they would spend on Magic cards on Pokemon Go coins. And that's, I've spent money on Pokemon Go coins too, because you need to get those incubators, right? Um, I actually buy Pokeballs because I'm really lazy. That's not the way to play. So I highly not recommend doing that because you spend money like crazy. Anyway, so why is FNM attendance down? I think it's a combination of people have better stuff to do on Fridays than go to a Magic the Gathering store. I've always felt that way. And you can watch my first video, my second video, whatever. Um, and it's not the greatest thing to do on a Friday night socially, um, especially if you're in college. In college, I didn't play Magic. I just went to pre-releases on Saturday, but I never played FNM because at the end of the day, like it would just wasn't worth it socially. Like you can't tell your friends, you know, I was at NYU, hey dudes, like instead of going to a club or like going to a party or going to an event, NYU has really nice events and it's, you know, it's amazing uh, school. I'm gonna go F and M. <laughs> you know, that's not, you're in New York City on a Friday night. You're not going to F and M. That's last for me, like in New York City at least. Uh, Manhattan, you're in Manhattan and you're going to go FNM. Life choices, right? And you're in college, right? You're an NYU freshman, sophomore. It doesn't make sense. So at the end of the day, FNM was never a very good concept in my opinion because it really does ostracize people more. And here's my, here's the rationale I have as kind of a geek in high school and it was very different from what it is today. Um, as a geek in high school, you have to be social. Like one of the reasons that you know people feel um, you know angry in high school or you know want to be a rebel and feel like they're treated unfairly is because they don't take the initiative to do stuff. If you like someone, call that person. Don't text her. Call her. Be like, hey, do you want to go? Friday night, because Friday night is the one, it's date night. It's literally date night. It's still date night when I'm 29. It was date night when I was 19. It was date night when I was 12. Like, it's always been date night. And you just call her up, you know, call him or her up, depending on who you are, and go, just go, like, and have fun. You can play Pokemon Go. Like, my significant other and I, we play a lot of Pokemon Go together, and it's something fun because she's a fitness fanatic, and. You know, I like catching the Pokemon, so I'm like, oh, I guess like I'll get the egg mileage, right? I'll show you my Pokemon account sometime, it's pretty cool. And just go, just go. Um, but you can't be like, oh, hey, dude, do you want to like go on a date with me to f and <coughs> Like what? Uh, so I've always found f and very like Friday night magic. I wish it was Saturday, like noon magic. That would be better. And that would encourage like people who are maybe socially um, in adept to go out, to go out and to like spend, do, to try to do something Friday night. You're not, at least since I was in middle school, I just never stay in Friday night because it's so depressing. But you have to force yourself to go out, hang out with friends, do other stuff. And that might be playing magic once in a while, but it's not going to be playing magic every single night when you're in high school and college and afterlife. Um, so overall, I felt FNM, the strategy of it and marketing of it, I never really liked. That being said, the, there is a lack of players. FNM is normally always standard. Yes, yeah, some places will do draft. That's great. If your place does stay, my places do not uh, because people don't have the money to do draft. So it's normally standard and you normally have maybe 2% of the player base who can will always win. So it's one or two people who always win every single game and it gets very stale very fast because they're net decking and no one can beat the net deck and you do this you know, two times and you get tired of it. 
Uh, the format is very stale, and at the end of the day, net decking has dominated uh, recently, and it's really hard. Like it used to be, if you had a net deck but you didn't know how to play it, you could you would still lose a lot. Now you net deck and it's so easy because it's net decking aggro deck. It's an aggro deck. So the learning curve on that deck is much, much smaller than maybe net decking a control deck, which leaves gives you options to win the game. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.